four impact transfers on this Baylor team this season, and O'Meara is one of them. North Chad O'Meara, the Miami transfer, the first bucket. And Scott Drew is not messing around. Two monster teams to start this season, and Gonzaga now here in Arkansas has the backdoor cut. VJ Edgecombe lays it in. Edgecombe can do a little bit of everything. And in an NBA Pro Arena, not a bad idea to go zone against an Arkansas team that has not shot the ball well. Nice run and lay it by the VCU transfer, Jaden Nunn. Nunn with the shot clock winding down at three, knifing through, missing the lay-in, gets his own miss, back up and puts it in. This hustle effort play right there by Nunn to miss one and stay after it. This is an offense that will show four guards for much of this game. There is Nunn from deep, and he nails the three. Uh, that's what he can do, Jane Nunn. This is an Arkansas team that shot 21% from deep in their first game against Lipscomb on Wednesday. Right in the paint. Look at the havoc this freshman creates. He is special enough. Look at Flam. Moving his feet, staying in front of right. Has to get rid of it. Any time on the shot clock. Inside and O'Neal. The cold shooting from outside continues to start this game for Arkansas. O'Meal showing the strength. Gets his own miss. Wow. And he is just too tough inside. He, he just wears you out with effort. Roach trying to get downhill wow. quickly. Look at him getting all the way to the rim. I'm telling you, the speed of Baylor guard play. Roach in and out. Trying to set up the offense. Six seconds on the shot clock. None. Crowd wanted to carry nothing called, and he cans the jumper. That is a big time shot by None. Baylor got blown out their first game of the season. But this is a different Bears team we are seeing here tonight in Dallas. I post to Visich, has it poked away from behind. Getting downhill, Edgecombe throws it up top, and O'John went up. Roach, Roach jump stop, and the soft touch, it falls. Here is Edgecombe, as he get it around the perimeter. Right with a pick and roll with O'Meara. Mm. And the runner. They do a good job of protecting the nail, and so far, a pretty good job of keeping it out of the paint. There's the steal by Roach, and coming the other way is none. None with a hesitation, and, and it pinned. Originally a Kentucky commit, followed Cal to Arkansas. DJ Edgecombe, Richmond trying to get down, but Edgecombe. Arkansas has never led tonight. As Roach looks at the shot clock, it's at one, and a facial. O'Meara now wants to post him up. Kick out, three ball. O'Meara with position, the offensive putback. On selection Sunday. None left alone, top of the key, and he nails the three as Avisic throws his hands up. It's cold. He looks pretty good to me. I'd say he's ready to, ready to get back on the floor. He and I were on the same staff together at Oklahoma State for a year. I, just, I knew back then, like, he just had a knack, man, with his guys, how he communicated. We saw him in Fayetteville. When you look at this Baylor team, they go really about seven deep. Because they're still without Langston Love. Inside, tough finish by North Chad O'Meara. What a force when I see these two guys on the floor tonight. Right with the pump fake, stays under control to nail that mid-range. This was way ahead of their yeah. offense. Guys weren't passing enough. Celestine, and he gets in on the action. Just a lack of awareness by Arkansas. I said in the first half, the game is hard when you can't make shots. And pass. And it's stolen away by Edgecombe. And no whistle on the contact. Arkansas's got numbers, and they take advantage of it. Wagner had it stripped away by Nunn, and it's off of Wagner. Celestine off the double screen. That was blocked by Brazil. Brazil broke out before they had the ball, and rocking the rim as Josh O'John went up. Baylor fans trying to keep the Bears ahead here as Roach turns the corner and puts it in as Brazil was closing in.